thanks for tuning in. My name is Teresa. We're going to be learning how to replace a few main components on the Dynamic Shark joystick controller. The tools you'll need to replace the components are alcohol wipes, the boot, the skirt, the knob, the keypad, a Phillips head screwdriver, a flat head screwdriver, an Allen wrench, a T20 star screwdriver with a long and skinny neck, and possibly needle nose pliers. Now that we have everything we need, we can go ahead and get started. Next thing you will want to do is pull back the gray collar on the bus cable on the bottom part of the joystick and pull that out to disconnect it. Once that's disconnected, you're going to want to grab your Phillips head screwdriver and start unscrewing the screws that are on the bottom of the joystick. Now that the screws are removed, let's go ahead and remove the joystick and let's go replace the components. We're going to start by replacing the keypad. In order to do so, you need a flathead screwdriver and you're going to want to gently pry the keypad off of the joystick by inserting it to one side and giving it a quick lift. You want to be careful that you don't hit any of the contacts because if they're damaged, you're going to need to replace the whole joystick. Once you have one side up, you can remove the rest of it with your hand. Once that's removed, you can grab an alcohol wipe and you're going to want to clean the contacts to make all the adhesive come off. You want to just gently rub the adhesive off. As you're cleaning it, you can take a look at the contacts to see if there are any damaged ones. These ones look pretty good here. We're just going to continue cleaning off the adhesive. So once you finish cleaning off the adhesive, you're going to want to leave it sitting for 10 minutes for all of the alcohol to evaporate off of the faceplate. Once the 10 minutes have passed, you're going to want to grab your new keypad. You want to take off the clear backing and you're gonna start from the bottom of the joystick by positioning it from the bottom up. You're gonna wanna gently press it in there. And then firmly press starting from the bottom to make sure it sticks on. You want to double check all of the edges to make sure there's no ripples and that it's firmly in place. Once you do stick this on, it is not repositionable due to the adhesive. Looks good. So we have just finished replacing the keypad on the joystick. Next, we're gonna replace the boot. If yours is damaged or missing, we're gonna to need to open up the joystick housing. You can either use an Allen wrench or a T20 Darbit screwdriver. There are three holes, one's towards the top and two are towards the back. Once the three screws are removed, you can go ahead and open up the housing by gently lifting the top from the bottom. If your circuit board is stuck to the top of it, you're gonna wanna gently just tap it and that will make it fall towards this side of it to allow you to remove the top. So for replacing the boot, we're gonna wanna just go ahead and squeeze it to remove it from the housing. At this point, if you do wanna give it a quick clean due to a bit of residue around the sides of it, feel free to do so. I'm going to do it. Now just make sure you do use an alcohol wipe, that way you don't damage any of the electronical components. So while you're at it, you can also just clean off the edges of the bottom part of the joystick controller. You'll also want to double check your contacts here to make sure that they're good and not bent or anything. 
All right, now that that's all clean, we can go ahead and continue with placing a new boot onto the top. To do so, you're gonna need to get a replacement boot and you're just gonna gently squeeze that towards where the bottom flap is going into the hole. And you'll flip it over and make sure that is all flat. And if so, that is great. We have now replaced the boot part of it. So we're gonna just put it back onto the top. Now that that's in place, we can go ahead and put the screws back in. The next thing we'll want to do is replace the skirt. This, you're just going to place it over the top of the boot and slide it down gently. Pretty easy. Next thing is going to be putting on a new knob. And same thing, just slide it over the top. You may need to twist it to get it on there a bit easier until it touches the skirt. It does only go down a certain distance due to the depth of the hole on the knob. So you may need to adjust the skirt a tad and by just moving it up a bit to make it look pretty sealed. Now that we've replaced all of the components, we can go ahead and reinstall it onto the power chair. Reinstalling the joystick is the same exact procedure except for in reverse for when you removed it. You're gonna to wanna to take it and put it on top of the mounting brackets. We would recommend holding it, that way it doesn't fall this way because it is a bit heavy on this side. Also, what I would recommend is taking the screws and putting them in by hand at first and then going back with the screwdriver to tighten them. Once you made sure all of your screws are secured, you're gonna go ahead and take the bus cable and reconnect it to the bottom of the joystick. Once you've secured your bus cable, hit the power button. And if you're not getting any type of flash codes and you successfully replaced your joystick components, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.